Hello, friends. It's Ken Lord again from House of Bread Community Church. Here on day four of our seven days of Easter devotions. Thank you for listening in and getting a little dose of Bible teaching that will hopefully stimulate your spiritual senses. So, uh, how is everybody doing out there? These are extremely difficult times we're living in, uh, more brutal for some than others. But remember that we're all in this together. Virtually the entire world is in a battle against this deadly coronavirus infection. So now more than ever, it needs our prayers, our acts of kindness, and our example of Jesus living outwardly from us. Onward and upward. So let's move on to today's devotional called A Single Sacrifice for Inward Cleansing. There's nothing quite like the feeling we experience after hunkering down in our homes in pajamas for days on end while practicing good social distancing habits, allowing some of our familial hygienic habits to run a bit awry. When we finally decide to put an end to this hygienic hiatus for the betterment of our entire household, what a joy it is to sense that fresh dove soap scent or maybe you men prefer Irish Spring, emanating from our bodies after a long, hot shower. Uh, unless, of course, we have a boatload of children at home, then we limit them to uh, short, lukewarm showers. Achieving this particular state of cleanliness it creates such a wonderful feeling of refreshment, does it not? Well, let's one-up that. How much more refreshing is it when both our outsides and our insides are clean together. Let me read to you this excerpt from the book of Hebrews chapter 10, verses 11 through 18, describing the Old Testament repetitive sacrificial system that the Israelite people had to practice for ritualistic cleansing versus the new form of spiritual cleansing that was enacted when Jesus Christ had died and rose again. Day after day, every priest stands and performs his religious duties again and again. He offers the same sacrifices, which can never take away sins. But when this priest had offered for all time one sacrifice for sins, he sat down at the right hand of God. And since that time, he waits for his enemies to be made his footstool. For by one sacrifice, he has made perfect forever those who are being made holy. The Holy Spirit also testifies to us about this. First, he says, this is the covenant I will make with them after that time, says the Lord. I will put my laws in their hearts and I will write them on their minds. Then he adds, their sins and lawless acts I will remember no more. And where these have been forgiven, sacrifice for sin is no longer necessary. Do we still attempt to atone for our own sins over and over again when Jesus has already accomplished this permanently for us over 2,000 years ago? Sometimes we come to God with the mindset that if we do enough good deeds today, after failing miserably yesterday, we can somehow cancel out our sins and appease God's anger towards us. We could carry this mindset even a step further by attempting to punish ourselves for our acts of sin and, and hope that we'll be more forgivable to God. We may attempt this type of self-punishment in the form of depriving ourselves of certain necessities or even subjecting our bodies to excessive strenuous activities to the point of pain and suffering. In these ways, it's as if we're offering up sacrifices to God and hope that we will get back on good terms with him. Basically, these mindsets that I just described are called acts of penance. God forbid that we maintain these mindsets because as we just read in Hebrews 10, verse 18, their sins and lawless acts I will remember no more. And where these have been forgiven, sacrifice for sin is no longer necessary. Our repetitive attempts to offer up sacrifice to God for our sins is so absolutely unnecessary and even forbidden because the one supreme sacrifice was already made when our precious Lord and Savior Jesus Christ died on that cross. 
and took upon himself the penalty for our sins and rose again. By continuing to offer up our own sacrifices to God, we're acting as if Jesus' sacrifice wasn't enough. Instead of coming to him with our human efforts to get back on good terms through something that we do, we need to come to him with a repentant attitude, acknowledging that we have already been forgiven because of what he has done. The author of Proverbs poses this question in chapter 20, verse 9. Who can say, I have made my heart pure, I am clean from my sin? The answer to that question is nobody. Absolutely nobody can say that they've made their own heart pure and been cleansed from sin. Because this is what God the Father has already accomplished for us through his son Jesus Christ on that cross. So here's the question of the day that I leave with you. Do you believe that Jesus Christ completely washed away the worst of your sins and all of your sins? without any of your acts of penance. Think about that. Till the next time.